it's a shocking news to some of us, those of us who worked closely with him. He has been our mentor. I must be honest with you. He was the one who sent me into politics. If I say I'm a politician now, I give my credit to him because uh, I followed his principles, I followed his vision, and I was one apostle that, you know, did everything to make sure that uh, whatever he dreamed of comes true. It's a shocking news, my brother. And what would you say are some of the fondest memories? I know there are quite a number of them, but ones that readily come to you off the top of your head, that, that sticks with you and will stick with you forever. You know, um, in Ghana, I quite remember when we were growing up, we were finding it very difficult, you know, to travel to my hometown, like Sunyane, from even Sunyane to Kumase. One will have to wear a headgear. You need to borrow your wife's headgear to cover your head, else the dust that one will go through from Sunyane, that is about, let me say, 100 kilometers from Kumase. You know, the whole uh, road was on tart. And he was the one who initiated asphalting of this road from Kumase up to Domain Grove. So we give that credit to him. And I can't remember. We once went to Afram Plains. And later when I went there and I saw the development in that place, I said, wow, what happened? And some of them were telling me that uh, credit, much credit goes to him because he took personal interest in sending electricity and a lot of development to those areas. So that is exactly what I see of him. He came and served this nation and served it well. But some people have their own views about him. In fact, one will not live in this world having 100% uh, perfection. But the truth is that uh, the positive side far, far, far outweigh his negative uh, things that he came on this earth to do. You knowing him and working closely with him and being through thick and thin with him, are some of these concerns and perceptions of these individuals justified? I would not say it's justified because if you are very close or you happen to be very close to him that you will know exactly what some of us have always been saying. Very much caring. He's somebody who will want to kill himself to make sure that those around him are happy. You know, and he has always been commenting on the way some leadership are not accountable to the people. He was always saying that, and you, you remember, he brought this to positive defiance. He has always been saying that he, as a leader, if he's doing something and the thing is not going on well, you need to start up and challenge him. And he always appreciates people who were doing that. And some of us were actually, one, personally, I would say that I was one of those people who will always you know, stand up and tell him that, look, chief, we will accept all the things that you had, but this particular one we won't accept. And he will accept it in, in good faith. So those who were saying that he was uh, a tyrant, let me put it that way, I did not see him as such. I saw him as somebody who was very caring, who was listening to people and understand the situation that one finds himself and will go at every length, you know, to solve problems of others. So that, that, is, that is him. The final bit that young politicians of today can emulate. He was accessible, very accessible. He will get to the people, he will want to listen to their problems, he will want to solve it with them, and will always lead in solving the problem. And that is what we say, leadership by example. He was always leading by giving us an example of how leadership should be. So I think the, those of us who are coming up, well, some of us are already grown, but the young ones who are coming behind us should take a cue from what he came to do. And one thing that Ghanaians should not forget, you see, from Kwame Nkrumah, up to Nanado, we have some positive qualities in some of these leaders. We are not, you know, chronicle all these things. We just let them go. And because of politics, we are always drumming out of voicing out the negative part of them because of politics. Let us come out with a positive past and bury the negative part so that we can keep them. Then the younger ones who are coming up can also learn and will know that, yes, yeah, these leaders did these things. Let us also build on it so that we have a better Ghana in future.
Ciao.